All right, I am back again, and it is time to create three looks using the Blends Bunny Laura Palette. Yes, we have another drop by Blends Bunny Cosmetics, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as you can see, I have on this beautiful all matte look and anytime I usually have on all matte looks, it's usually because of Blends Bunny and I feel so inspired to create an all matte look because her mattes just... They, they just just they just lay okay but let me go ahead and introduce myself before I get carried away so if you're new to this channel welcome and if you're older but goody welcome on back my name is Ashley I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup so that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup but please just call me Ash or Ashley so as I just mentioned right here this beautiful little thing right here is the Blends Bunny Cosmetics Laura palette so this palette actually just dropped January 20th and then it kind of had like a soft release on January 19th and I was just like in my emails looking and I saw I had a shipping confirmation I was like oh, she's sending me the palette so I actually was gifted this palette and Blends Bunny has gifted me some items before I do have all the palettes by Blends Bunny um, this one and the Dow House palette I have not purchased she gifted it to me but everything else I have purchased myself and of course all of my thoughts and opinions will be true to myself okay but look at this gorgeous palette we have 24 shades right here oh uh, and it's definitely selling the vibe of mermaid dreams now there were actually two launches that happened with the brand so she released this palette which retails for 46 dollars and she also released the trove palette now the trove palette is a little quad full of super shifty multi-chrome shadows now if she hadn't sent me this palette i was definitely going to pick this up the trove palette on the other hand i think is very beautiful but i wasn't going to pick that up because Particularly those particular multi-chrome shadows, although they were very beautiful, the quality looked nice, I do have in my collection. So I don't want to have too many dupes, but I was definitely interested in this palette. And I have all of their palettes besides the Trove palette. Now the Trove is a pretty penny. You kind of get a little sticker shock. You're like $68. Like, huh, 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 what? But if you were to divide that $68 divided by four, it is $17 per shadow, which is actually... Not a bad deal because if you're thinking about most of the multi-chromes that are out there on the market, uh, Terra Moons, for instance, Terra Moons, I feel like sometimes they're a little bit cheaper in. The quality is not cheaper by any means, but they're usually like $15, $17, up to $20. Cleona, for sure, is coming in at the top end around $20, $25. JD Glow and all the other brands in between. So I didn't think that that was a bad price, but of course, it just kind of hits you like, and honestly, every time I buy any type of multi-chromes, like I bought three or four from Electrum Cosmetics a while ago, I spent 60 something dollars. So it's not unreasonable and you do get a little bit of discount, especially by buying them in a the little bit of a bundle. Now, now, I have been down with Blends Bunny since the beginning, since the Blends palette. And I was like, yes, the quality is amazing. These colorful mattes. And every time I see her palettes, I'm just inspired. So this palette actually comes with a unicarton right here. And on the back, we kind of have a little mock layout of the palette you also have the ingredients and some information about the brand and like I said it's 24 shades and this is for the mermaid within and the palette is like the unicorn and the palette itself is textured so it's like a little glitter texture so it actually emulates like you know the mermaid scales that they would have and the same thing you kind of get with the palette the palette part is actually a lot smoother than the actual unicorn which is great because I'm just going to have the unicorn in you can hear you can hear the texture right here and i feel like it's really great with just the white writing it makes it bold pop on the back you kind of have the same thing along with the ingredients now you should keep in mind that this palette mostly is a pressed pigment palette and that's not every shade but those are like a lot of certain shades especially your matte shades meaning that some of these shades, like, of course, the FDA is going to consider they're not suitable for the eyes and they're going to cause some type of staining or they might cause some type of eye irritation, depending on the sensitivity of your eyes, okay? The palette is also, or the brand per se, 
It's actually vegan and it uh, has cruelty free little bunny on there and it's good for 12 months once you open it. The materials are recyclable and it's made in China and the net weight of the palette is 0.81 ounces or 23 grams of product. Remember a product can be vegan and cruelty free if it's selling in, if it's made in China as long as it's not sold in China because anything sold in China does require animal testing. Now, whew. Of course, I'm going to show you some swatches, but I'm going to show you some pre-swatch shades because we have 24 shades. Now, on this particular palette, we do have one row at the top that has some beautiful shimmer shades. And of course, everything is just going down in the row according to True Blends Bunny fashion. And I feel like this is the first time that she's actually giving us just a true blue row, okay? And this little neutral row right here in the shade Pearl just did not come to play. The palette does retail for $46, which is usually in line with the cost of her other palettes. And she does offer Afterpay on the website. Now, I personally have a little beef with Afterpay. I love Afterpay, but Afterpay is making me not love them anymore because somebody hacked my account and bought some gym shoes. And they used my name and my debit card information, of course, but they had it shipped somewhere in New Jersey. And you know, I live in Chicago, but it's very hard to communicate with them. They don't have a phone. You have to communicate via email. And mm, I digress. That has nothing to do with blends, okay? That is an afterpay situation. But just keep in mind that it's a very effective way to keep your budget nice and neat when you're purchasing makeup products or any other thing you know so of course i have three looks for you here today yes including this one and two other looks of course we do the first two looks we're going to talk about the thoughts in between and then at the end we're going to wrap up with some final thoughts so let's go ahead and get started all right let's go ahead and get started of course i have my eyebrows filled in using my goof proof pencil by benefit cosmetics in the shade 3.75 i'm using two primers so if you haven't seen my video where i'm kicking my holy grail to the curb it's because the urban decay um all night primer potion in the shade caffeine is no longer available but that was my perfect color so i picked up the shade eden because i really like the consistency of this primer and it is the lighter primer and then I mixed it in with the MAC Paint Pot and Contemplative State because it is my perfect color, but I feel like this can be sometimes just a tad bit emollient. So let's go ahead and get started.
went back and here are the first two looks and I think they came out really great. So let me talk about my face details. So for foundation, I actually went in with a sample. This is the Surreal Skin by Makeup by Mario. I got a little sample because I just wanted to kind of make sure the color was great. I wasn't quite sure while I was in stores and I do like it. Like this is my first... No, this is my second time wearing it, but I haven't worn it like outside the house. I don't know like, you know, what's the longevity or how it's going to look later on. But so far, I do like it and my skin just looks like healthy and super glowy. And I think it's a good match because sometimes my skin is very warm. And so it's just kind of hard to figure out you know, what is the right match. And I went in for lips, I'm kind of going backwards. I went in for lips with one of my favorites. This is Dial Face by Blends Bunny. Also, this came out with the release of All Done Up. Really beautiful. It does come with a matching lip liner, but I can't really get to it right now because it's, it's just buried, okay? And then I went in with, um, let's see, what did I do? Of course, I used my Minted Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Vacay for my bronzer. And we're working on panning her on up. And then for blush, I went in with the shade Cherish by Pat McGrath. Oh, no, that's Night Bloom. I just had to pull, like, a few blushes out. Because most of my blushes and my bronzers and lip pencils I cannot get to or it's very hard to get to. So there is Cherish. And then for the highlight, I took my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And this is a collab that came out quite a few years ago with Puma really pretty just like a peachy gold highlighter melanie gold highlighter so if you have anything like that you can basically recreate the look and then for lashes i went in with my ardell demi wispy lashes and then a little extreme black liner on the bottom and that's my pat mcgrath laps so overall i am very very pleased and once i saw the first roll of the palette i just could not help myself like i know it's the mermaid palette but Oh my gosh, this part is just so pretty and the shade Pearl is gorgeous. It's definitely giving like a dual chrome vibe. I'm sure it'll be pretty with the other shades. The shade formulas, beautiful. With the mattes, the same as always. The shimmers, oh my gosh, it laid down so nice. Didn't have to wet it, didn't use any type of glitter glue, just used my finger and then kind of just fixed the little areas I couldn't reach with the blush with a brush but i just feel like this looks so good it's really really pretty really neutral so you're getting a neutral look you know even with this bold vibrant palette and over here i just kind of jumped in you know i started off with what did i start off with mm. Oh, I started off with Explore, which I feel like is one of the most true blues that we've ever seen from the brand itself. And then to blend it out, I popped in with a little sea foam and then jumped in right down here with 332 meters. And I just kind of mixed the shimmers up. So right here and then added this one at the end so you get a little dimension and i'm so happy with how that turned out that looks really good i just wish in here i just would have blended it a little bit better but i guess i could just kind of go ahead and take the time you know i'm really like i'm always blending re-blending blending again <laughs> basically with all of my shades but this is really really cute and then if you're wondering i found my mermaid earrings so i was looking for a different pair of earrings and i finally found them and then i was like oh so the room that my other bedroom the room is not that brightly lit and so i was looking and then i pulled the bag and here where it's more lights and i was like oh my gosh i forgot about these so these are old school they're betsy johnson you know she does all these little creative things so I was like oh this will go perfect with the little theme of the palette so that is the look first two looks oh my gosh okay my neighbors upstairs they're dropping stuff I'm like okay it's a lot going on up there <laughs> but both of these looks are just so beautiful mm, yes I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to go in and jump in with another look. I might do an all matte look because, you know, with Buns Bunny, like her mattes just inspire me to just go the all matte route. But these shimmers are really pretty. We'll see how we land. I wasn't recording. So I just blended this shade right here, Jellyfish, all over the crease. I'm going to do it on this side. I'm glad I caught this sooner than later.
am back and this is the third and final look and I think it came out so pretty. It's really vibrant and colorful and it's definitely giving like all the mermaid vibes. I just kind of kept the shimmer right here just to the inner corner and I went in with one of the matching shimmers which is in a bottle for this little teal turquoise row and I just put it here because a lot of the times like the magic with the blend bunny shades is just playing around with the mattes and they blend out so well. As you can see you could definitely always see the differentiation between colors and I really appreciate that so by the way if you hear any noise I have construction people at the house you know it's it's been a it's been a lot so as you can see I was just able to go in with jellyfish and then progress down to the next shade right here which is seductress and then I definitely wanted the purple to appear deeper so I just went ahead and put the black on then added in tentacles and then for our pop of color going in with sea nymph and that just laid down so smooth everything just blended out so well oh and I did use a tiny bit of 332 meters so everything just came out together well everything just blended together so well it's like it blends like come on <laughs> like we know it's gonna blend well it's just gonna look good and literally she has some of my favorite mats now let's just jump into the palette right here so we have the beautiful artwork on the palette it's definitely giving mermaid vibes I love how it's a texture on the palette so it's definitely giving the scales of the mermaid and everything just looks so bold fun and fresh the palette definitely has a little bit of weight on it there isn't a mirror with this release, but honestly, I do not care. It's fine by me. And the palette does retail, remember, again, for $46. I feel like the quality is very excellent. The shimmer game, she has definitely stepped up her shimmer game, which I feel like has probably led into the cost. Usually, this is probably like around scale of her other palettes. They've been in the $30 mark, $40 mark, $46 mark, so I don't feel like it's too bad. Of course, like these palettes I reach in all the time use with by itself use the terra moons you're definitely going to be able to get a couple of neutral looks right here and of course like you're going to get the vibrant blues and the greens and your uh turquoises and mints and i just love the mint and purple together when i saw that i was like yes for sure you know so i felt like everything just went out well of course i didn't use every shade and i'm going to continue to play with the palette and you can follow up you know in a palette update she does still have sufficient stock on her website and of course the ingredients are all in the back and everything and i just think like she just did a great job with this you know we've seen a lot of mermaid things we've seen a lot of multi-chrome things but this still feels fresh fresh and innovative and it doesn't look like like her other palettes I don't know how she does it because by now she has given us so many other rainbow type ish palettes but everything makes sense you get a nice progression you can build upon the looks you can go ahead and use some of the lighter rolls definitely as you know your transition shade but nothing really went too light in this particular palette as it has in the past I'm gonna pull out like maybe like the surge palette and Dow house so you can see what I mean so for instance, we have the Dow House palette here, and this palette was actually gifted to me as well. So as I mentioned before, two of the palettes were gifted to me by the brand, everything else I've purchased ahead. But actually, this row I have used quite a bit, as you can see right there. But this like this row goes really light, so and then you have kind of like your medium tone uh Row, which I feel like this palette just kind of starts at the medium tone row and then of course we have surge and this really made me fall in love with the brand this is the palette like yes still the deal <laughs> and so you have these pastels right here at the top so I felt like she just did a great job um, just curating their shades and just not making it too much because I felt like some people just feel that if she would have had like a fourth row and the palette would been a little bit bigger like how these two are the dot house and the surge palette that you know, it just been a little bit more intimidating and people might not have been as likely to be like, oh, okay, I can kind of see. And purchasing palette and getting use out of it. So sometimes, you know, the less is more. And I think it's like she's really just building on the thing with her palettes and everything is just taking form so nicely. So, oh my gosh, the shimmers, this shimmer right here, Pearl, is like my favorite. I definitely will be like putting this little roll to the test sometimes for neutral looks. And then just, of course, 
jumping in with these colorful shades and like i said this is the first time i really remember her like just giving us blue for sure for sure like a gradual progression of blue because if you have the surge palette you can see that we just have like these murky blues right here more t turquoise teal family in the dow house we don't have that i could pull out the blends and primal real quick So we have the OG right here, which is blends. And it's so funny that I even went for a palette like this, but I kept hearing like how good it was. And that's how I actually tried the brand. And here we just have like these two blue shades. Well, these three. So right here. And then of course we have the primal palette and the primal just kind of filled in the gaps where blends left off. And this is definitely more, I feel like more purple. It got a little blue here, but it's definitely more purple, I feel like, versus royal blue. So I was happy to see the blue progression because I felt like we haven't had one in this palette. So, so as I mentioned before, if she didn't send me this palette, I definitely would have been picking this palette by myself because I love me some Blends Bunny Cosmetics. And I'm super grateful that she went ahead and sent this along. So let me know down below, did you purchase anything? Are you planning to pick up anything? There's still things in stock, so that's excellent. And she always just kind of restocks, which is great. So if you've been thinking about it and you're not sure, like, if you want to buy the palette, but then later on you decide like you really want the palette, it's great news. You can go ahead and repurchase or purchase the palette later on. So leave me a comment down below and give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chain dance. Chain dance. Ay, ay, ay. Chain dance. Mm, mm, chain dance. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Bye.